Hello, good evening students. Welcome to my session. Here, today we are going to learn a very important and interesting topic. Yes, class 10 CBSE syllabus. Max, our chapter is Introduction to Trichnometry. That is your chapter number 8. Okay, trichnometry is a very new word for you guys. And I know that. First of all, getting into the chapter, let us know what does this word mean. Here, trichnometry is actually a Greek word. Here, tri means three, bron means sides, and metron means measure. So, trichnometry means three sides measured or measurement of three sides. So, what does this word mean? Measurement of three sides. Yes, when I say three sides, which particular uh, shape comes to your mind? Yes, triangle. Because triangle is the only shape. Triangle is the only shape which consists of three sides. Okay, now this topic trigonometry is purely based upon the shape triangle. Okay, then now what is trigonometry? We will know. Study of relationship between angles and sides in a right triangle. That is, we are going to learn the relationship between the angles and the sides in a right triangle. You may ask me, ma'am, why only right triangle? What about other kind of triangle? So, to make you clear, let me give some real life application of this chapter. For example, look at this diagram. You are standing here. You are standing uh, above a ground and you are looking something which is at the balcony of a building. For example, this is a flower pot and you are viewing this flower pot from here. So from your eyesight to this object, I am connecting an imaginary line and this line is called line of sight. And this is a very new word, please make, please make a note of this children. So from his eyesight, I am making an imaginary line to this object that is this flower pot and this line is called line of sight and I am also extending my imaginary line from his eyesight to this ground. Now after connecting all this, what you can see, you can see a right triangle here, yes children, first of all what do you mean by right triangle, an angle which consists of 90 degree, this is 90 degree and this triangle is called right triangle so this kind in in this kind of uh, problems we can apply the concept of trigonometry and we can find the height of the building or the height between the person and the object or the height between the person and the foot of the building etc so this is how trigonometry is being applied in our real life i hope you people are clear with the introduction part yes now we are going to the next part trigonometric ratios so what do you mean by trigonometric ratio ratio of sides of a right triangle with respect to its acute angle so first of all let me clear what is ratio what do you mean by ratio ratio means nothing comparing two quantities Comparing two quantities by division. For example, I'm going to compare the height of any two person in your class like this. For example, the height of one person is 160 centimeter and the height of other person is 150 centimeter. So how will you put it in the ratio? 160 is to 150. And this can also be written as 160 by 150. So this is how we'll do ratio and see this ratios this is a symbol of ratio and this ratio can be written in the form of division also why why because ratio means comparison of two quantities by division okay now back to the chapter so what is trigonometric ratio trigonometric ratio means nothing but we are going to find the ratio of the sides of the right triangle with respect to its acute angle Understood children? With respect to the angles inside a triangle, we will find the ratio of the sides and these ratio are called trigonometric ratio. Okay. Now, I already told you trigonometry deals with right angle triangle. Okay. Before knowing what are the trigonometric ratio, let me explain what are the sides 
I mean, what are the special names for the sides of the right angle triangle? For example, A, B, C is a right angle triangle and it, the right angle is at this point B. So your right angle lies here and your theta lies here. Here this theta means nothing but any angle. We don't know. This is 90 degree we know and these two angles are unknown and definitely they are going to be acute. Why children? Because if this is 90 degree and these two angles obviously they will be acute. Acute in the sense less than 90 degree. Clear? So these two angles will be less than 90 that is they will be acute and this is your right angled. Okay. Now here AC is called hypotenuse side. Hypotenuse. Please look at the spelling. Hypotenuse side. So what do you mean by hypotenuse? Very simple. The side which is just opposite to 90 degree. Your 90 degree lies here. So the side which is just opposite to 90 degree is your hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse will be the longest side in a triangle. So the side which is opposite to 90 degree is called hypotenuse side. So here AC is your hypotenuse. Now the side which is opposite to your theta. For example, I am going to place my theta here. So the side which is opposite to theta is called opposite side. See my theta lies here that is at the point C. Which side is opposite to that? A B is opposite to that and it is called opposite side. Now you may have a doubt, ma'am, suppose the theta is lying here, then what happened to the opposite side? Simple, if the theta is lying here, then this BC will be your opposite side. Opposite side means the side which is opposite to theta and hypotenuse side means the side which is opposite to your 90 degree. Clear children? And remaining side is called the adjacent side. That is the side which is nearby to theta is adjacent. Okay children? So three things we have learned. One is hypotenuse, the side which is opposite to 90 degree. And another one is opposite side, the side which is opposite to your theta. And the remaining side is your adjacent side. I hope you people are clear with this. Yes? Okay. Now we learn what are the trigonometric ratios. What are the trigonometric ratios you have. Here we have six trigonometric ratio. So let me introduce one is sine theta that is sine and this is nothing but your theta. Theta means nothing children your angle. Okay. Next is cos theta. Next is tan theta and cosec theta and this is sec theta and this is cot theta. So you have totally six trigonometric ratio. So what are, what, are, what are the ratios? Let me explain. Sine theta means nothing but opposite side to theta divided by hypotenuse side. That is O by H. Okay. So, so how will you find the sine theta? Opposite side by hypotenuse side. Now cos theta adjacent side to theta divided by hypotenuse side. That is A by H adjacent side by hypotenuse side. Next comes your tan theta. So how will you find tan theta? Opposite side to theta divided by adjacent side to theta. That is O by A. Next, cosec theta. Hypotenuse by opposite side to theta. That is H by O. Next, sec theta. Hypotenuse divided by adjacent side to theta. That is H by A. Now last one is cot that is adjacent side to theta divided by opposite side to theta. That is A by O. Okay, ma'am. We have six trigonometric ratio and you told the uh, formulas for each ratio. Okay, fine. Then how to remember? It is quite confusing. Yes, children? Yes, I know that. So for remembering this, I have a small trick. Okay? I have a small trick. The first thing is you need to remember the order of the trigonometric ratio. First one is sine cos, tan, cosec, sec and cot. So these are the trigonometric ratio and they must be written in this order. So sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec, cot. Can you find one more thing here children? See, sine is O by H and cosec is H by O. What, do, what does this mean? This is the reciprocal of this. Yes or no? See, sine O by H. So cosec H by O. So both are reciprocal to each other. Similarly see here cos A by H and sec H by A. They are reciprocal to 
each other that is co cos and sec are reciprocal to each other now see this children tan and cot tan is o by a and your cot is a by o so these both are reciprocal to each other now okay let me tell you a small silly trick to remember this after writing these ratios in order that is sin cos tan cosec sec and cot how to write remember this one word one line i'm sorry one line old harry and his old aunt very simple children what is that old harry and his old aunt here take only the first letter of these words old o harry h and a his h again old o and a so what you will get o h a h o a just write it in that way o h a h o a let me tell you again old harry and his old aunt so you easily got the ratio of these three things so you got the ratio of sin cos and tan and we already know this is going to be the reciprocal of this so after writing old harry you will make reciprocal that is after writing o by h you will write h by o here then after writing a by h you will write h by a that is reciprocal then after writing o by a you will write a by o here so this is a very simple trick to remember the trigonometric ratios so we learned six trigonometric ratio those are sin cos tan cosec sec and cot and we also learned the formulas to remember these ratio and i also taught you a single line that is a very silly one old hari and his old aunt okay children